I just wanted to show you why this magic actually happens and what this magic retargeter asset is and where it's hiding if you in case you wanted to make any changes. So this isn't perfect, the one that comes with the DAS to Unreal plugin. There's some tweaks that might be necessary. Let me show you where that is. So under plugins, there's DAS to Unreal content and in here there's a folder called retarget. If you go in that, this is the G9 retargeter that we've used. So if I wanted to make any changes to that, it's advisable not to do that in either the engines or the plugins folder. So I would probably prefer you go and left click and drag the G9 retargeter out and put it into your project here, copy it over there and then make changes on that. So I'm going to rename mine mirror retargeter and then I can make some changes here. So double click that to open that. And this is now where the retargeting magic happens. And uh, Epic said in their documentation that this is possible to use this as a post converter as well as a live retargeter. And live retargeting is what we're doing. So at the top here under source, this is the mannequin that Unreal Engine provides. This is Manny, this is the male mannequin. So at the preview mesh, I can also go and type in Quinn, like we saw it in the viewport. There we go, that is now the female mannequin. And then on the bottom here, we have the G9 IK rig that also comes from the plugin. And here we can now pick Mirror our skeletal mesh and there's the two side by side. So if I wanted to make any changes on this, I think the first thing I'm going to switch off is the debug draw that gets rid of these green lines. And we can also go and change the target mesh offset here. 128 is the default. If you set that to zero, then they're both on top of one another. And that's good if you wanted to make broader adjustments, sometimes smaller adjustments you can't quite see. So the arms and legs, they're all fine, but the fingers, they need a bit of adjustment. Adjustments. If I put this back to 120, you can see that the Quinn fingers are a little bit more bent than the Genesis figures. And that means that if you go and look at poses and especially look at fingers, they might, you know, stick out a little bit. And, you know, that is something you can tweak here. I might show you that in another video. In fact, I might show you this now. In your target, switch over to the target, hit over to edit pose, and then you can go and pick a bone that you want to change here. So if I go and look at the fingers, they all need to be bent by rotation of 10. So let's find them. In previous versions of Unreal Engine, we could select them here in 5.0, but we can't do that anymore. So I'm going to have to pick them from here. So we don't have the thigh, upper shoulder, left hand. Let's start with the index finger here. So select the index finger and then just bend that over by 10. And then you go with the next one and you bend that over by 10 as well. There's a little bug actually. The moment you select this, you have to move the viewport around for it to kind of wiggle. And now the fingers look similar than what you had here in the Unreal Engine skeleton. Maybe a little bit too much, but you get the picture. This is something that you need to fine tune on a per character basis. So we're done with the finger. Let's go on to the middle finger. Same thing. Left click and drag that down by 10. I'm just going to go 10 just because, you know, it. That seems to be working okay. Middle finger done. So it's a little bit, you know, it takes a little bit of patience. Yeah, so if you select a finger and then you want to move this and it doesn't immediately react, just wiggle the viewport. Like in my case, I can't do anything here. And I'm going to have to go and just wiggle the viewport and then it works. So each of these bend in by 10 until you're done. Okay, that's that. Now that we've made a change, we can have a look or we need to go out of edit mode first and then we can go and see what this looks like. So you can pick an animation like walking, for example, walking forward. So here you have these two different types of animations. MF means mannequin female and MM means mannequin male. So you can use them both. So MM means this is the male walk, but that doesn't look as lithe as the female walk. So this is not what our female character would be like. It It'll be the male character. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we transfer male characters. So right now, let me go and try walk. And then I can say uh, walk, MF walk here. Double click that. And then we can see that this is more like the female walk now. There we go. And then you can make adjustments and uh, judgments of saying, hey, is this good? Does anything needs adjusting? You can also slow down the animation speed up here. 
so that you can catch things better. So if you think, hey, yeah, the, the, the index finger could probably bend down a little bit more or, you know, bending needs to be adjusted, whatnot, you can do that. For now, I think I'm pretty happy and I can use my custom retargeter now for this. Show retarget pause brings us back to this, and that's all there's to it. So live retargeting means that this retargeter is being used live as we play the game. I'm going to go and open my animation blueprint again and give this node our custom retargeter, so mirror retargeter, so that my changes actually work. And then I can go and play my game again. And there she is now with corrected fingers. Perfect. So this is now using my custom retargeter. So the retargeter, just to bring this to a close here, the retargeter is, a, is this magic pose and animation conversion tool. And you can use it live like we do here, but you can also go and transfer these so that it becomes playable on a custom character if you wanted to do that. And just to show you how that works, if we wanted to grab one or multiple animations, you would select them and then export the selected animations out. And then you pick a new directory. Like say in here, I might go and make a new folder called mirror anims and then in here you can go and choose to rename these things i'm going to keep them as they are and hit export and then these animations have now been translated so that they're playable on our new custom character without the retargeter so that's basically the retargeter doing the work offline we've saved out the animations and they can now be applied directly to the skeletal mesh if we bring in our mirror here and turn her around once again, we could go and apply that animation asset directly to her in the details panel. So we're not going to use a blueprint here. We're going to use an asset and then we're going to go and have a look what they are. So there's only three. Those are the three that are compatible with my skeleton. So I'm going to go and pick the first one here, MF walk forward. And when I do that, then she looks like this. It's almost like she's about ready to walk, but she's of course not quite walking yet. And that's because we need to go and switch. If we wanted to preview this live, we need to switch Unreal Engine into simulation mode. So up here where the play button is, the three dots icon, head over here and switch to simulate. And then she starts walking around like there's no tomorrow. So very, very cool. I hope you got a lot out of it. Principle is the same if you now wanted to use Mixamo animations or anything from Das Studio in this way, you can do that. I'm going to show you next how to fix the clothing and how to bring in the hair. So stay tuned for that.